Yo, what's up guys? Premier the Remy in the house, bringing you guys the first part of our playthrough on Sonic Heroes for the PS2, GameCube, Xbox, and the PC. In this video, we're going to be playing as Team Sonic and we're going to tackle the first two stages as well as the first boss of Team Sonic. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video because we're going to be doing everything Sonic, everything Mario, as well as other games like racing games and pretty much any platformer I like or what you guys recommend I should play. So just if you're interested, just please like this video and subscribe. Anyway, let's get into this. So we're going to go story mode. Team Sonic. All right. Hey, look, it's Sonic. Yo, Tails, long time no see. Sonic, check this out. Oh, it's so cool how he's backwards running like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Tails just ditched this plane right there. Alright, first stage, Seaside Hill, let's go. Oh yeah, let's bring back the memories. Alright. Oh, I just missed the checkpoint, hold on. There's a one-up here, so if you jump over here, bam, yes. quick one-up. No knuckles, I'm going to take care of these enemies. Alright, turn to tails right here, grab those rings. Since we've just started a new save they are, we need to get some lives. So I'm going to have to do whatever it takes to get some rings and grab some one-ups. Let me get that child key right there because we need the chaos emeralds and the special stages for lives as well. Basically, the game is like split into sections. You have like two levels and then a boss. On the first level, if you get a key, you basically get into a special stage, but you don't actually get like a chaos emerald at the end, you just get lives and points. But when you get the child key on the second stage, then you get the chaos emerald. And there's about 14 stages, so obviously seven emeralds, so every second stage is when you're going to get the Chaos Emerald. So we're going to go to the special stage with this key, as long as we don't lose our rings, and then we can get, um, we can get, what's it called, we can get some more lives to add to our lives right now. We've got about four lives right now, and we can have as many as 99, so we definitely need to build those up. Now as you can see in the top right, we've got three characters because obviously it's, it's a team based game. We've got Sonic, Tails and Knuckles, Tails obviously being the flying, Sonic being the speed and Knuckles being the power. And as you can see, we're just about to give Tails the final level up. Each character can get three level ups, which basically just makes them more powerful, it means they can hit better and whatnot. So. You can get level ups from killing enemies or from hitting checkpoints. So depending on which character you're controlling when you hit the checkpoint determines who gets the level up. And also when you defeat enemies of the character you get level ups. But one thing I've noticed is that when you, if you, let's say you use Sonic to defeat an enemy, you will never get a Sonic level up. Like you always get one of the other characters. So if you want a Tails level up. Don't kill the enemy of Tails because you're going to get either Sonic or Knuckles. 
It's just something I found out over the years. Oh, I'm missing a checkpoint, okay. I need to get these red rings, come on. These rainbow rings, come on. Yes! Three rainbow rings, that's how it's done. Now, I've already got three level ups, so I don't really need to get this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it anyway, so. I'll just use Tails to quickly thunder shoot these guys. I think thunder shoot is really OP'd, if you think about it. Like, I mean, with zero level ups, Tails is basically worthless unless he's flying. But with three level ups, I think Tails is very powerful in this game. And one cool thing about Knuckles is if you go on this, if you go down here, you can hold this thing until it gets all the way down there. So I just found that really cool. Alright. Let's see what we can get here. Alright, let's break this box. There we go, one up. Alright, what else is here? Alright, there's another key, so assuming you lost your first key, you could just get that one, but we've been able to hold on to our key, so that's cool. Now the cannons go in a different direction depending on like who you use to go into them. So because we use tails, we flew straight to the top. But if we had used knuckles, it probably wouldn't have taken us to the top. So it's best to use either tails or Sonic, mainly Sonic. But sometimes tails is ideal. And this is the bobsled. It's kind of like a cart thing that's powered by all three of the teammates. It was something we'll see later on in the game, so I can talk about that later. Alright, this section. Alright, there's actually a little glitch here in the PC version. If you do it right, you can run in the air like in the classics on the game. So let's see if we can try and pull this off. You have to kind of boost, but you have to like, not do the, the full like rolling boost. You need to kind of slide boost and then, then land. So what we're going to do, okay, let me see. Make sure that Tails and Sonic aren't right next to you, and then pull it off. Nah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this. Alright. No, they're too close. Get them further away from you. Alright. No, they're too close. Yes, there it is, there it is. Just like the classic games. I just, I just really want to show you guys that. That's why I kept going back to do that. Alright. Ultra loop de loop. Oh, I love this. It's like the fastest part of the level. Oof. Alright. Now, time for the team blast. The ultra killing move. Alright, let's go. Oh, I love the team blast, man. Alright. Because we still got some gauge left, we can kill these enemies. With some like leftover team blast moves, yeah. And if you drop down here, you should find another one up. There we go. Alright. And we've completed Seaside Hill. We should be going to the special stage now. Alright. Come on, we can get an A rank. Because there's no S ranks in this game, so. Come on, A rank, A rank, A rank, A rank, A rank. Come on! That was tight. Yes! A rank! Alright. We get our first emblem as well. Oh, I think there's 120 emblems in the whole game. Alright, but here's the special stage. So we need to do as well as we can so we can get some lives. Alright, so we're just gonna mash this boost button here. Bam, bam, bam. Alright. So we just have to collect these links, which will fill our boost gauge. And then, basically the more links you get, the more points you get, which means the more lives you get at the end of this level. It's actually interesting, because most people thought that the boost was introduced in Sonic Rush. But technically, the boost was introduced in this game first, in the special stages. Oh yeah, Rainbow Rings. Oh, this section with the... The evil chow and the good chow just kind of throw you like one or two of these things, which basically means that it's harder for you to keep going in the special stage. Oh, I just got hit up. Because basically, the links increase your time, and if you don't get enough links, you could run out of time and then you wouldn't complete the special stage. Meaning you get 
no lives. So you have to make sure you're getting enough links to get to the end of the special stage without dying and running out of time. So that section can really destroy you in some of the later special stages, but because it's the first one, you don't really have much of a problem with that. So let's just keep going here. Alright, boost, let's go, let's go. Alright. Keep mashing this boost button. Ooh yeah. Rainbow rings, oh, I love that. Alright, looks like we're at the end right now. Hopefully we can get, I think it's up to 5 lives. We should have gotten at least 4 or 5 lives. Come on, come on. 4 lives, okay that's cool, that's cool. That's gonna help us. Alright, on to the second stage, Ocean Palace. I love the music to the stage. Alright. Yeah, I really love this stage. The scenery is really nice. Another thing I forgot to mention about this game is just that because the stages are kind of two stages and a boss, like they kind of separate into those sections, each two stages kind of look similar. So Ocean Palace is going to look similar to Seaside Hills, like it's like a natural progression kind of thing. Alright, let's fly here, grab those rings, go through the hoop. Alright, I want to give the level up to Sonic. Alright. Oh, I missed the ring dash. Okay, there we go. want to get those ring dash points. I need an A rank. Alright, let's use Knuckles and let me get the Chow key here. I don't know why I keep calling it a Chow Key, there's no special stages in this game. I'm just thinking of Sonic Adventure 2. But, yeah, the key is obviously going to take us to the next special stage, which is where we try and get the first Chaos Emerald. So we definitely need to get that key and hold on to it. Right, I'm going to go this way. Alright, so now let's just quickly run through this section. Get some rings. Alright. So far, so good. I'm almost fully leveled up knuckles. Now, if you just jump onto the sides of the wall here, you could kind of spider man across this wall. But you can't stay on it too long or you fall. So you gotta be careful. Let's hit that rainbow. Yes! Okay, now we can use triangle dive over here with knuckles, which is kind of like. Knuckles' his gliding move because he has that in all of his, not all of the Sonic games, but most of the games that he's in, he's able to glide. Alright, let me ring that shit quickly. Alright, there should be another one up. Okay, there we go. Alright. Let's see. Okay, let's break this. Now let's use Knuckles' move, the shit rat. I don't know what he's saying, it sounds like shit I, I really don't know, but shit sounds the coolest, so I just went with that. Alright, let me get those ring dashes. Oh, and he's got three level ups, so I just love his move. Alright. This part is known to glitch out a bit, so I'm going to use Tails. Okay, I'm going to have to use Sonic then. And switch the Tails. Oh yeah, one thing, when you get invisibility in the PC version, he kind of stops glowing. You can see Tails and Sonic don't glow anymore, I, th I don't know why. I think it's just a PC version glitch. Alright, so we're going to use Sonic to go forward. So we're going to go this way. I think I'm the best at this room. Alright, we'll use Tails to quickly destroy his enemies. Use Sonic to go into the cannon. When you've got three level ups of Sonic, all it takes is one hit and you can basically stir up wind so you can blow off shields and stuff. So you don't even have to use this move. Alright. Quickly kill this enemy here. I think there's something in here, you see? Yeah, some rings. Should I use a team blast here? I don't think I need one. 
But I don't want to risk losing my key because I need to get into the special stage. Okay, who should hit the checkpoint? Okay, everyone's leveled up, so it's cool. I want to get some more rings, so I'm going to quickly light up all these springs here. Because when you light up all three of them, you get a small ring reward. Quickly use Knuckles to destroy his enemies here. And grab that level up for extra points. Oh, there's a shield there. I've actually never checked that before. I don't know why. Alright, let's take the upper route here. How did I not kill him? I've got three level ups and tails. Alright. Let's just break through this quickly. Alright, let's quickly just glide up here. I think this is the first Sonic game where Knuckles is actually glided up or glid up. I don't know what's correct. One of them. But yeah, because he always seems to be gliding downwards, because that's how the glide works. But the whole windmill thing seems to be a new concept they added in this game. I don't know why I'm getting this, because I've already got one, but I might as well. I would ring that shit, but then you would fall and then get hit by the boulder thingy. So I'm going to leave that one. Alright, I think we're at the end of the level now. This is the part where we get chased by the big wheels. So all we have to do is just move fast and get out. Alright. But Tails, how do you know there are two rocks? If you're running in front of them, you can't see the rocks from behind you. So how do you know there's a second rock? Anyway, let's just get to the goal ring. Hopefully we got an A rank for this as well. Alright, alright, so far so good. Come on, A rank, A rank, A rank. Perfect. That's right, Knuckles, perfect. Alright, so now I'm about to do the special stage for the Emerald. And we got a second emblem as well. Now, I remember on the first special stage, we were mashing the boost button, but for some reason, it took me years to find this out. If you mash the boost button on the Emerald Challenge, the Emerald will actually run away further. I don't know how to explain it. So you have to kind of hold the boost button without mashing it. I don't know how that works, but yeah, you can't mash it. So, I mean, it's the first Emerald, so it was quite easy, so we've got that. Obviously, we're going to need all seven emeralds to get to the final, final boss. So, we're one down. But if I don't get all the emeralds in the Team Sonic playthrough, I will get them in the other playthroughs. So, don't worry, we'll still be able to get to the final boss. Right, time for the first boss, Egg Hawk. Oh, I love Dean Vista, and his voice acting is just amazing. This boss is really easy. If you play it right, you just need to stay behind and wait for him to land, basically. As long as he lands on the first one, he should be fine. Alright, there we go. Now let's murder this guy, quick. Just use knuckles. Bam! Should be over before like the next 15 seconds or so. Come on! There we go. There we go. That was definitely an A rank. No way that wasn't an A rank. Come on. Alright. Yes! Ready for the junk pile. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Anyway, guys, that's the first part of our playthrough on Team Sonic, Sonic Heroes. So, 
If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And thanks you guys for watching. It's been real. Do me out.